Hello, and welcome to the Game Dev Quickie. In this episode, we are going to make a progress bar. Let's get right to it. We are going to be using this Global's Helper class. It allows easier access to the content, sprite batch and elapsed game time. The Input Manager checks if any mouse button was clicked. And the Game Manager class, that will bind everything else together. We will use these health bar textures for our project. Ok, let's start coding. The progress bar will have two textures. A background and a foreground that will represent the current value. A position on the screen. Maximum and current values. We will also use a rectangle, to draw only a specific part of the foreground texture. The constructor initializes the variables. The update method changes the rectangle's width. It is the current percentage of the maximum value. The draw method first draws the background, and then the foreground, notice the use of the rectangle here. Let's make a hero class now. We will use a progress bar to show health. The constructor should be straightforward. It loads the textures and initializes the values. We will add two methods, take damage and heal. These will be helpful for testing. The update method will adjust the health based on the mouse input. And the only thing to draw is the health bar. Let's create a hero instance using the game manager. We are ready for the first test run. The left click reduces the hero's health, and the right click heals. The health bar is working perfectly. But we can make it fancier. Let's do an upgraded version with animations. It inherits from the progress bar, and adds a few variables to form the animation. The constructor is straightforward. The update method is a little more complex this time. The target value is where we want the animation to stop, the hero's current health. If the target is lower, we are decreasing the current value. X is where the animated part starts. It also has a different color to be recognizable. If the target is higher, we are increasing the current value. And we use another color. Then we set the widths and positions of each part. The draw method adds the animated part of the bar. Let's give our hero a second health bar and see how it looks. The animation is working. Great. That's it for this episode. You can find the code in the description. And if there are any topics you would like to see next, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.